Whew. 4K. 30 frames per second. This is the, they call it the OG. Um, damn. The OG, the uh, DJI Osmo act, action cam. I don't know about the OG. Well, I mean, it's first generation. But uh, anyway, see this house, man? I mean, oh, uh, you know, I'm sorry. I just want to move from here. Just want to move, move to where? Somewhere, I don't know, out, away, somewhere, somewhere. I think I'm going to do two caffeine. I already did one. But I'm uh, concerned. This bag is pretty big, man. But it's like I got everything squashed in here. But uh, yeah. Whew. You see these right here? This? See that? It's peanut butter, a myoplex, you know, um, meal replacement, and iso pure um, protein powder, vanilla and some milk but man is it it's delicious you mix it all together but it's really uh tough on my sugar i mean it really jacks everything up however however <sighs> yeah can't believe all the and i was reminded my mom last time i had a meal with her and i in jesus name i feel really ashamed of myself that my my mom you know we were eating out and um, she was indicating you know uh, about not eating my dessert before uh, our meal and uh, oh shit I defied what she was saying and I ate my dessert before my meal I know it doesn't seem like anything, but it was. I feel ashamed of myself. I miss her dearly. I had hoped that when I moved back here, that I would have been able to, you know, spend some really good time with my mom. And <sighs> can't believe my dad's been gone so many years already. It's just. Unbelievable. They were both so young, you know, compared to so many that I see affluent, you know, that, uh, you know, like, I, I, the, the best example would be like Donald Trump, you know, you look at someone like him, um, live on so many years, you know, and because of being able to have access to the best you know, the best foods, you know, nutrition and health care. Look at him. You know, he's in pretty good shape. Yeah. I mean, I doubt he ever really busted a grape. He's in good shape. But, you know, bust a grape meaning work, you know. It's one of those things that you hear. You hear. Hmm. Oh. Mm. Another one. Woo! Another one, baby. Gloves. Ah, oh, shit. Gotta get my gloves, man. That's quite a hybrid, huh? These pedal extensions because I need hip replacement you know my knee kicks out my left leg is longer than my right and uh this helps all right let's see dang I forgot my gloves Thanks, babe.
You decent? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, darling, let me uh, get my gloves. Where the heck are my gloves? Haha. Uh -huh. Here they are. I love you. All right. I think we're ready to roll. Pretty much. Oh man, I could have gone in here and got my keys. Now I. Let's go ahead and put on the gospel. Resilience. 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 Yeah, pretty amazing. Let's go. Let's see the gospel according to Matthew. Hypocrites. Well did Isaiah prophesy of you saying, This people draweth nigh unto me with their oh, mouth, not yet. and honoreth yeah. me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. And he called the multitude and said unto them, Hear and understand, not that which goeth into the mouth. All right. I just, uh, just put the gospel over my headsets. Had like, uh, I've got these uh, headsets there. They don't go inside. No, they're not. They're headsets, but they're like uh, earbuds too. Similar. Except they're either they're called uh, bone conductive uh, uh, earphones, I guess. But uh, if you put in, you know, uh, earplugs while you listen to them, really, really amazing. Um, but. They're made so that you can be aware of your environment and still listen to something like that, you know. I'm listening to the Bible, I'm listening to Matthew. Matthew. I've got on, uh, you know, a full wetsuit. And um, I will probably... Uh, change it out, strip it off. Mm, I would say when I don't know. Uh, do I have a goal? I don't know. The sun is already, you know, on this black wetsuit. Even though it's like 65 out, it feels a lot hotter. All right, we're ready. We ready? Here we go. Not easy. Get my foot up over this. It's my hip. It's my hip, man. Fuck. Fuck. Oh. Whew. Fucking hip. Hip, man. That's really something. How crippling. You know, needing a fucking hip replacement. That's why so many that, you know, that are blessed, or should I say, well, like I saw this, I met this fireman ooh, who was able to get hip replacement surgery when he was uh, relatively young. And uh, he was doing so good. I never thought that I would be a candidate for such, you know, but here we are, here we are, he was really checking me out, serious, I guess it is a curiosity, if I get my feet in here right, 
I got these bear claw pedals they're called much better you know you put toe clips on them and you're rocking toe clips I've got I could do better figure out something they make them that you can slip into and they don't you don't have to bother uh, you slip, slip into them you don't have to bother with um, you know the ties or whatever you know I'm looking at those tires this that stop sign you see right there I had tires in my yard people here in town called the EPA they came out of Pittsburgh you see those tires on the right there see that but they told me the EPA said that I could only have two like tires like you know but you know like the, the, that aren't in use at any given time on my property do <sighs> you know right there them using those tires is a violation yet they call these people here in town called out the EPA on me yeah, that's really something I had people that were just going by the house to see like I was working on a tire garden you know I was going to use tires to uh, irrigate the uh, garden by burying them and doing whatever I could you know to make it conducive that the water would get into them and hold hold them you know down hold hold them hold the water you know as you bury under the garden you know it was all in the uh, I, I you know I didn't know what to expect I didn't know, you know, if the, I hadn't, there hasn't, there hasn't been much publicly released uh, studies that I know of. I did, I, I did, I did a search. I tried to find whatever information I could about whatsoever chemicals, you know, are released from a tire when it breaks down when it's you know in the ground so you know it might have been that it was okay that you know after I went through so much work and it was so hard being that I am really challenged having had two spinal fusions and needing hip surgery But I was ordered to take the tires out and uh, whew, just something, isn't it? It wouldn't have hurt anyone but me where my well was. It wouldn't even have leached over to that if it would have done anything at all. You know, it would be, it could have been at the plants, you know, the vegetables could have had something of trace chemicals. And I was quickened about that. So I had wrapped the tires in plastic and my real worry you know thinking neighborly the only one I really had was having those cavities underground that 
if there was an entrance, like I got vents and what have you to them, that if they were accessible to mice and rats, you know, you could have a infestation in no time. So I had to cover everything in whatever um, way to put water into the tires, which I had devised that and set that up, you know what I mean? They were linked together so that when you, and there was a point where there was a pipe that came up and you could go ahead and fill the tires down the row through one uh, pipe. And, you know, do that for each row. Ah. But carefully so that I wouldn't, you know, give any access to mice, you know, or rats, especially rats. Uh, to get a foothold, you know, get down in there, you know, because that would have been ideal for them. And so, you know, that was my only, what's that word, it's so good to use in this instance, if I can think of it. I say concern, but it's so simple, right? Got a word, just cover that, so nice. I think what it is at the moment. I had it and then it just fled. Anyway. Oh. It's a word that covers that, you know, like. That's okay. The predilection. Predilection. Is that the word? Anyway. I don't use the word ever. Election. I don't know. What are these holes in this road? You know, they're big enough. If you weren't paying attention, you hit them, you could lose control of a bicycle. Ah, I feel good, man. I'm gonna have to force myself to stand up often, you know, on my toes because uh, the weight. And where it is on my hips, it causes impingement to the areas that are, uh, I've got real serious problems with. Thank you, my hips, especially my left. Having had two spinal fusions, uh, you know, going through years, you know, suffering with like debilitating pain that put that then you know got to the point where it literally put me down where I was like I guess, I well think whatever creature you want you know that's broken down on the Serengeti you know waiting to be made a meal of that's what I felt like man all right that's See we're out here. All right, are we gonna buy one? Nope. Middle sprocket. Damn. There's a certain tact I have to use to get to that smaller sprocket. Yeah, I missed it that time. I'm on that mid one. Whatever it is. Yeah. He had to get an eye full. Wait, what the f hell? Who the f what? Ever. I meant to be out earlier. Should have been. Should have been.
this bicycle, the way it's made, compared to that, uh, what is that? What is it called? It's a Gemini 900, I think. Anyway, it's much more comfortable where the handlebars are. I gotta learn to monitor the monitor. But someone is, you know, you know, yeah, no, absolutely. That's the way it is. How fascinating, huh? You know, it's like... Whew. Apparently. Apparently. Like, God the Father, Yahweh, God the Father, apparently, is apparently God. Whew. Okay, where are we here? We're on a top rocket. I'm doing okay, but this exercise really is, it, you know, it limits itself to a set of muscles. It really, it worked. And it doesn't uh, do much for so much of the rest of your body for strength training. So, you have to figure out a way to, to get that. And I know that water therapy, you know, with buoyancy gear and resilience gear is the answer for me. It's the answer for so many. about what I might do or might not do or whatever today. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna get it. Yes. Okay, I figured out that how to get to that small rocket. Hallelujah. Yeah I can get the creeper gear now. And that comes in really handy. You know, when you're, for me, when my legs are spent, which... We have got this set up, the bike. It's not fluctuating the stroke. The area that it's hitting, my legs, it's relentless, really. there was a way to adjust the height of the seat and the distance you know 
forward, backwards, like over the pedals where you sit. Like if you were able to do that without having to stop riding, then uh, it would really, it'd be great, you know? Comes a train, fucking train. I hurry, maybe. Or fall? I don't know. I don't know. Ah. I'm gonna stay on the small sprocket. Keep things uh, easy. And just uh, casual pedal through New Galley. Some of these holes, man. And yeah, there's a hill up here. But you know what? Huh. See the testing that was done, if any testing was done, here in Pennsylvania, you know, soil, testing soil and what have you, because I mean, there is, you know, this bullshit game, you know, re-shoring, re, re I mean, shoring up Norfolk Southern's narrative that, you know, everything is in East Palestine, whereas, um, there's a, you know, a, a guy that uh, he, he, he uh, pokes around in a stream and uploads videos about, you know, what contamination there is in the stream there in Ohio. But, uh, he stayed clear of doing the work that should be done here in Pennsylvania. And I... Him and I, we don't see eye to eye. Because I shared with him. It took that train a long time to get there, didn't it? I shared with him everything, you know, about what was done. He knows clearly what was done by Norfolk Southern and those complicit. But he chose to bury his head in a stream you know there in Ohio but all these areas here in Pennsylvania where the derailment fires all that shit you can see it on radar the night of the 3rd of February gigantic fires You can see all that shit going all the way down. Believe me, all the way down to like El Equipa. On radar, you can see it. Now, as for the day, the 6th of February, 
It's a Monday. And then overnight, the 7th of February, which then became Tuesday, early, early morning. It continued, I, I believe, to burn shit. Having the cover of our exploiting our National Guard and using them to cover the crime, there's no video or photos of all that because our corrupt state governor of Ohio he declared a state of emergency over one container that needed pressure let off of. And under that, that auspice, auspices, concoction of insidious everything that was at that site they disposed of by dispersal disposal how many containers you can see by the flyover with a drone how many you can count them the courage of whoever it was that released that drone footage was given of God in Jesus name God Yahweh hallelujah I took some real courage man to release that footage hallelujah yes that drone footage is a killer and so is the Associated Press who reported on what Norfolk Southern officials were saying about what was there at the site. How many containers? 14 vinyl chloride, they stated, that the UAP reported the day after the derailment of what Norfolk Southern said. 14 of them. And also, the way it's worded, you don't know if there were 20 additional containers, railroad containers, carrying hazardous materials, because it's stated in a way that it could mean that there were actually 34 altogether. And that, you know, you can see by the drone footage, that adds up. It looks like that's what it is. And when you have our court courts officials falling in line with the lie that there were only five well, what do you have? What's the difference between 5 and 20, or 5 and five, 5 and 14, or 5 and 34? What's the difference? What's the difference between 5 containers, but why even 5? The initial uh, story was that there was one container that needed pressure let off of it because Norfolk Southern said it was going to explode and send shrapnel out a mile and poison people with the hazardous smoke from the 
hazardous chemicals. Get it? I'm right up on that big sprocket. No problem. It's rubbing a it's you know, it needs to adjust it a little bit. It's functioning. And I don't know if the chain rubbing on whatever it is it's causing the clinking sound. I don't know if it is a uh, wearing, you know, wearing the uh, sprocket. Or, I mean the chain, wearing the chain down. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, let's go ahead and downship a little bit. Ah, that sounded bad, huh? Okay, no problem. All right. It's precarious. Shifting, you know, I, I like keeping it original, but maybe I'll uh, upgrade the components, you know, shifters. Why the hell take a chance? It's like when you shift, you know, you always run a chance of the chain, you know, like uh, kicking the chain off. So. I'm just saying. Like that highway I went over right there, that was, let me see, uh, what the hell was that?
that was the turnpike. And the one I'm gonna go over up on the top of the hill is Route 60. It's better to gauge this. You know the how I'm gearing it. Gauge it for uh, the most ambitious ride. Which I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Oh. Been asking the most high for provision and to have proximity. I know I've been heard, so I just have to try to be patient. The tiredness quickly gets into my arms from the angle that I'm holding here on these handlebars. Trying to relax my arms, would you believe? See the bridge, the overpass. If I was on 60, it would be the underpass. Isn't that crazy? Just by perspective. Yeah. Slow, man. I can't really afford to have to get off and walk. Look at those, the water going over this piles up there, gravel or dirt, whatever it is. 
temporada. Oh boy. I just figured out how I can fix these brakes. Just figured it out in Jesus' name. I'm on my way to figuring it out. thing about the screen the uh, digital rear view mirror is that uh, it's not a big enough screen and it's too dark it's too dark I might have to return it Because if the screen's not bright enough out here in the sun, well, it's got to be or it's not going to work. This angle, however, I'm hitting this pedal stroke. The pedal stroke. Whoo! Whoo! It's giving me pain in my right hip. So, that's what it is. Wow. Okay, okay. Okay, come on now. Oh boy. Oh. I might have to raise the uh, seat a little bit. 
Guess this is a good place, honey. Oh yeah, here we are. Yeah. All right, let's see what we can do here. Just need a little bit. I think I'll do it right there. I think I'll do it. Might be too much. I think the first thing I can do is shed the um, top. Shed the top, you know what I mean? I don't know what kind of berries those are right there. I'm going to figure it out because... There's quite a bit of them. They're all over the place. There's a sassafras tree right there, man. Boop! Two of them. Boom, boom. I'd love to go in there and break off a twig to smell a little sassafras. I might do that. Wait, I'm going to go ahead and itchweed down there it's an old remedy for uh, sciatica you know it's like your body you you hit you, you, you slap the itchweed against your calves and uh, you're gonna you know you're gonna have a reaction burning itching but it's different, of course, than the nagging uh, uh, hell. I don't know. You a lot of ways to describe radiating pain um, from from a nerve impingement in your spine, you know, down into your legs and your feet, it's like the knees, even your ass, even you know. You, can be miserable. Can be. I should drink from this bottle. But taking all that stuff off, I'll wait until I take all this off. This would be a good place to change completely, but I'm gonna wait until I get if I can get into another area. I don't know. This will be the last time I'll really be able to uh Kuya Saka Saneche Kada Kada. See what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this one. Right here. I like this color so much that if I am still around or if everything is if it's possible, I might even paint that bike again. You know, even with a better orange. Yeah, orange, well, right now, in Jesus' name, the reason why I switched up the bike, what you see is like almost entirely orange. What's the um, word for that? Uh, motif. Is because right now, as it stands, Trump will win the election. That's why all the orange. Do you see it? The blue water bottle filtration. Symbolic, too. That's a blue water bottle, a 
got a filter in it. I'm tempted to get some of that sassafras. Maybe I can pass. Lifting my leg up over this guardrail is what stops me. Believe it or not, that's what it is. <laughs> Lifting my leg up over that guardrail. I mean, I should literally be able to jump over that guardrail. But I tell you, whew, it's, it's tough, it's tough. When you are challenged to needing uh, hip replacement surgery, you refused it. You know, that, that whole thing, you know, should have seen when I went to go see the surgeon there at the VA in Pittsburgh. He was looking down at the floor while talking to me. I had to convince him, you know, I had to convince him that I was worth the effort. That wasn't too much fun. When you've got to convince somebody who's, you know, like, is, who would do the surgery on you, you know, that, oh, fuck. You gotta convince them that you're worth the fucking effort? Motherfucker. Yeah. Let's break a sprig. Oh, this sassy for us. Here we go. Not that one, this one. Right here. Just want a sprig. Right there. Man, is that nice? Wow. A sprig. Man, I'll tell you, it's hard to believe. Not bad, man. When you break it, you get those leaves. Man, that's a great smell. Wow. Hey, there's nothing like it. You smell of sa uh, fresh sassafras leaves like that. Wow. That's so nice. Oh, so nice. Wow. Sassy fries. All right. I could do another caffeine. We'll see where that, where that goes, huh? How about we just do like a half of one? Do half, huh? Hmm. There it is. Watch this. Ah. Look at that. All right. I think the screen, I need a bigger screen. It's not bright enough, man. Not bright enough. I need it brighter. I don't know how to get it brighter. Okay. It's really neat, you know. But listen to this for a moment. 724 is my area code, right? 724. And 724, you think of 724 as 247. 24, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 
like it. Hoist your costa. warm out. Whew. You believe it? Well, it's already been an hour since I turned this on to record. And now we're all ready. I gotta figure out a way to put an old, uh, I don't know, I mean to make, maybe fabricate an old style kickstand. I could put one together that could act as a tow a tow bar. I can see it now. I can see it. I can see it, you know. I can see that it can hook on like here on both sides. On both sides. And comes out. You know, it's like, it's on such a deal here where, you know, it comes out and then you can bracket, you can hold, somehow to keep it in place. Maybe there's another something that it snaps into here and there's uh, something that comes around that you screw it tight like these type of screws. I don't know, something like that. But uh, for the toe, toe bar, which will be out to the back here, you know, like this. perfect tow bar kind of situation but you can then also use it as a kickstand let's say it sticks out you know like to these sides like this much you know in the back comes back to like this you know and then here there's a little latch that you can either have pointing up or you know pointing up and then when you use it you know you you twist it down or whatever but you know like a little O deal you know like is that screws in a bolt and you got a nut behind it whatever but when you put it down like you have a way you can you know it, it's on a, a bushing pivot where it can pivot on the where it's mounted out to the sides here you know it's always out to the sides but you can go ahead and just like a motorcycle think of how a motorcycle you lift up the whole back wheel well to make it this thing wide enough here that you can push it down to the ground, you know, and maybe it's on a spring. Maybe that's how it is, you know, it's on a spring kind of thing that keeps it up, but then when you press it down, just like figure out a way, you know, the same way of a, look at a motorcycle kickstand and work from that, the rudiments, I think, whatever, you know, design. But then, you know, that's how it would be, you know, you stick it down, pull the bicycle back, and then it sits on a kickstand that way. I saw it done. Somebody had done it. I just saw a video. I don't want to... Where, you know, but they weren't using it as a hitch. But man, I think that would be... Possibly... Possibly, that would be, you know, uh, one of the best places to hitch. I think the lower it is, the harder it would be then to pull the front end up, you know, like into a wheelie, a wheelie, you know, that way too. Like you'd have more, when you pull the trailer, or whatever you're going to pull behind it, hooked on to this, it would, uh, you'd have a better grab. And have more control on the front end, so it doesn't get too light in the front when you're, you know, pulling. Having it mounted you know here 
back away. Some, something somehow makes a difference in, you see what I mean, instead of back here even. You know, and especially not like one of those ones that mounted up on the seat post. But maybe it's all the way back here. Yeah, it gives you more, I can see it, I recognize that it just would work out so much better. I, I I think that I'd seen a bicycle that had two wheels on the front, a dually. But a dually, front and back, would be a really cool design for a bicycle. Where you got dual tires, whatever they are, 26, 27, 29s, I don't know, 24s, whatever. Yeah, it's a great, great idea. Um, in Jesus' name, hallelujah. Yep. I don't know, you know, it's like maybe y'all willing, I'll go ahead and have the have 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 it designed. Cause I'll tell you what, I've got the idea, but putting it together, fabricating it, it would take me uh, that that's where the effort would really come in for me. I couldn't uh wow. I got it in my mind. I think it's a spring that holds that up though. It's sprung somehow. Could be another mount up high on this, up here, you know, where you got the piece that comes out, where there's a, you know, that's where the spring attaches to the whole thing on the sides. Maybe there's two type of springs. Some type of a spring. Make, maybe it could be hidden within a tube, even, you know, somehow where it's not going to be out in the open. I don't know. Well, maybe the spring would work if it was right alongside. I've seen that before. See, I mean... Why not sometimes just say hello, fucking be kind to one another, huh? Right? All right, let's see what we can do. All right. Oh. For it being this early in the ride, me feeling, you know, as tired as I do, yeah. This little piece moved down. How about, how about that? I gotta tighten that up. These are really nice. They could be made even more, you know, uh, stout. If you had these made really stout, the use for them, they're, you know, you'd be able to use them for a lot, a lot of other things. Oh, they're pretty cool as it is though. I like them. A lot better than the metal ones, man. Look at that. Orange, 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 orange. The orange man, huh? Yeah, that's what it means. The way to um, do it right now is, uh, you know, you, the way to handle it in Jesus' name, Haha Donai Yeshua. See, there's that blue bottle there. That blue bottle, you know, right now it's empty. But it, you could put water in it and filter the water. It's got a filter. Purify. Well, if if that represents the Democratic Party, the blue bottle the, with the filtration system, you know, I don't know how much of this, uh, how, you know, I have taped here because it may have been off all the way through uh, Elwood City. I don't know. 
But I'm on Jockey Moore Road. And there was a guy that I talked to at a gas station earlier, right between Coppel and Elwood City. And he said, uh, he asked me, you know, we were talking about where we were from, where we know, different. He mentioned Jockey Moore Road. And here I was on uh, Elwood Wampum Road and I saw the sign for Jockey Moore Road. I told him in our discussion that I was familiar with the name Jockey Moore Road, but I'd forgotten where it was. Would you believe the first road sign that I recognized after our, my conversation with him is Jockey Moore Road. So I went ahead and chose to ride it. Holy shit. My glasses are coming apart, my sunglasses. I'm about to fix them. I don't want to lose them, they're gonna break here in a minute. Whew. I think I'll go back here, lean the bike against the fence. I'll take a little break here. Got a nice rock there I can sit on. Yeah. Smile your camera. Fuck off. That's good. Okay. Whew. Okay. I'm gonna save on my backup, I mean my digital rear view mirror. Whew. Well, look at this. Nice area. I might ride without the gloves on the next leg of the ride. So I let them dry dry a little bit. Should have had two pair of gloves with me, but yeah. Or three, I guess. I don't know. Definitely two. Look at that, huh? Well, I'm stopped. I'll keep this handy. Just for the hell of it, because here I am stopped. Did you hear that? Oh, glad it didn't go off. Oh. Yeah, right there. Huh. Let's see if this is on still. Yeah, it is. See? All right, cool. It's not bad right there. I can do a little bit better. Sweat is burning my eyes. I like that. That's cool. All right. Whew. Ah. I'm taking off uh, these clothes I have on. I might go ahead and strip all the way down and take off 
Uh. Uh. All right. Everything is just soaking wet, man. Oh, this hat, I got a hat on. You know, it's a winter beanie. That son of a gun. Whew. Oh boy. There's some skunk cabbage over here. And I see poison ivy. And poison oak. Right next to one another. Yeah. There's so much of it. So much of it. Whew. My urine is almost orange. Whew. Orange urine. Heck. I mean, Trump, be, Trump will be pissed. Oh, yakasaneche. Okay. I'm going to get a different vantage with this because I need to get in my bag. <sighs> well. I don't know where to put this. Okay, what? Might be kind of cool. Just hang it upside down. Up into the sky. It'll we'll have a view, huh? That might be neat. Maybe. Maybe. Whew, shit. Yeah, this is good. I've got some, a uh, couple of different things I can do snack wise. Might help, might help. Mm. Mm. Wow. Hmm. I wish I had a chair. Oh, man. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. Oh man. Okay. Well, okay. Whew. Mm. Whew. Mm. 
Yep. Mm. Wow. I'm hooking up this helmet on this fence while I get changed. Well, let's see. Look at that, isn't that cool? Not bad, huh? Let's see. It's neat, isn't it? I can probably put it over here. This bar, this uh, fence, chain link fence, digs into the helmet a little bit. That's not bad, huh? Okay, cool. Hmm. There's a top one. It looks really cool. I think it's still not. That's that one we want right there. Yeah. Pretty neat, huh? I got some dry socks. I've got a um, short version of a wetsuit. Uh, I have another shirt I can put on that will is white, you know, that way I won't absorb the sun when I'm dry, riding through it. What else? Oosh! Yeah. I got. I have to attach the bicycle on the side of this fence with a uh, shit, so it doesn't. The bike doesn't fall. Complicate complicate things a little bit. It's pretty nice though what I've got. I'm gonna just do a little twist, yeah, twist tie. There we go. That way it won't fall. Whew! All right. Rocky Moore Road. Hmm. All right, there we go. Got the package open with the uh, short wetsuit, the shirt, and I got a water bottle in here and some socks too, I think. That's how to be real nice. I don't know where the socks are. Hmm. Got some drink here.
Hear that? Here we go. Let me get the other socks out. Socks. Here we are. We're good. We're good. All right. Everything looks good. We get the extra socks. We're ready to rock. I don't have anything to stand on at the moment. I could use this towel. I don't know. Oh, here we go. I was wearing another style of boots, uh, you know, uh, when I first started riding. And the sole was, the sole, sole was too thin. And uh, it made my feet ache because of the weight on the pedals. Isn't that strange? <clears throat> so you need to have, you know, a, a hard surface on the bottom of your sole enough to uh, pick up that uh, pedal. Whew. Here we go. Here we go. My way to slip this shit off. I'm going to keep the liner. It's soaking. So, so. Here that. I mean, I only got a few teeth left. Couldn't get any help, you know. I'd... Couldn't get any help, man. Oh. My teeth, I think my enamel got soft from... Uh... It, it weakened my enamel, the, uh, all the medications I've been on all, over the years, many years, man. I think it contributed. Maybe I'm wrong, huh? I don't know. Here we go. <sighs> Trying to get this together. I got to slip out of these shoes and slip this uh wetsuit on off you know i have nothing that i can really brace myself I'm, i turned the shoes i took off one shoe the right shoe and i'm on the upper portion of it the ankle part of the boot laying on the side so now i'm standing on that because the ground is uh, wet now i gotta slip off oh the bottom when you need hip Replacements, you know, when you need that, it's hard to just bend over, man. Fuck. So now I've got this half wetsuit. Motherfucker. Now I can hold on to the bike for a moment and get a little bit of steady myself. Oh. Here we are. Oh man. All of this is like a fucking a fucking uh, obstacle course. When you fucking challenge like this, let me tell you, every fucking thing. Oh god. Oh my god. So, let me tell you. Back on the uppers. It's called uppers, right? Uppers. If only I was on the uppers. I don't know how much that would even help right now. I don't even know. Ha! Fuck. Activity is what will help, you know? The more the better. 
and the more variegated the better. Yep, true. All right, here we go. <sighs> I'm gonna slip on the uh, nice dry uh, half wetsuit. This will feel comfortable. All I gotta do is, I got an extra pair of socks that I'm gonna change out. Put my feet through these things, holding on to the bicycle, switching my feet to one upper to the other. Pull you back outside. Oy. All right, here we are. Whew. All right, all right. Oh, good Lord. All right, not bad. Not bad. All right, we're almost there. My back is tightening up, my lower back. Oh, well, this is... Not something that I'm, you know, I, I haven't been able to do much of this variegated movement. You take it all for granted, you know, when you're active. But every, all of your movements, you have to keep moving ah, so that you refresh the memory of the moves ah, and your muscle memory. When you, uh, when you are forced out of it, out of activity, it's a. Uh, oh, I mean, that's why physical therapy is so important. It keeps you refreshing the movements. You know, and recapturing that memory. Uh, if you can manage to recapture that memory, that muscle memory, it's what you have to do in Jesus' name. I pray, Father, may I recapture that muscle memory at perfection where things were the best for activity for me, but may I then know a new memory in Jesus' name of what is perfection by Yeshua's offering for my sin to you, Almighty God, his offering to you, Father. Hallelujah, in Jesus' name. Oh, what's going on with my shoe here? Hmm. All right, that's fine. Here's something to think about. Ah, here's something to think about. All right, you ready? Oh no, I think I'll have to go into a big excursus to even explain it. Ah, I don't know. All right, new socks. A new wetsuit, half wetsuit. All right. Still feel, feels kind of warm, but uh, it'll be okay. All right. I keep thinking there's someone behind me staring at me. And why is that? Probably because there is. Or for my survival. In Jesus' name, may I have a sense that God has allowed to uh, uh, be operative, that I can recognize that that is what is the future. So I need to hurry up before whoever it is is standing there. Hi. All 
I don't want to test it. I want to get out of here. All right, so I have a white shirt I'm going to put on. It's still going to be pretty warm with everything I'm going to put on. But the white shirt will reflect the uh, sun. That way I won't be soaking it in, you know, into... I don't have any UV protection, really, because I think the rash guard, the liner underneath is not going to offer me any protection from UV rays. I don't know though, maybe it will. But this white shirt, I'm going to be hot with it, you know, I've got a lot of layers here. I've got, a, you know, a liner, I've got um, a wetsuit, even though it's short sleeve. And I'll get that white shirt, and it's a heavy, heavier duty, heavy duty uh, jersey. It's not a t shirt. And I'm going to put this orange vest on. Wearing orange in this area probably is a good idea all right let's see if there's a glass case in here put my glasses in do I have one did I bring that I might not have ah. don't know I don't think I did. I don't think I did okay yeah Hmm. Bandana time. I remember driving Jockey Moore Road when I was a kid. <sighs> Night hunting. Not that I was hunting anything off of this road, just to cut across to an area on 18 or somewhere where I was uh, night hunting. I didn't night hunt this. No, I didn't night hunt this. Nope. I'm going to turn this all around. Get, I'm going to hold a big wetsuit. I am tired right now. I could sit down. I could actually take a break. Get off my feet like a, a real sit down, not a seat on a bicycle sit down. I'm going to try to power through. I'm going to try to power it through. Oi, oi. Okay. I might put that uh, towel back on. Daily, you know, activities. Something that you have to force yourself to go through. Of your own free will, I'm saying go through. Like set up an obstacle course where you get up and down, you know, from a chair, different chairs, and move about in your environment. Maybe climb a little ladder, go up the steps, different steps different space steps pick up something on the ground different activities I think that would be something that would help that's what I think that's what I think in Jesus' name, hallelujah. That's what I think. Well, whoo, okay. Oy. Glad I've got this uh, real big tie. I bought this uh, real big, you know, it's a, like, you know, you got, I have these regular size ties, and I have these other ones that are 
really huge. Look at these huge ones. They are just really useful. Really useful. Right now, if I didn't have them, I'd be in, be, I'd be in trouble. Hmm. Working out. Yeah, not bad at all. Not bad. I think putting a recumbent seat on one of these bicycles would help. Angling it. No, not a uh, recumbent, total recumbent. Uh, uh, not totally in a, in a recumbent, is what I'm saying, but having uh, an angle that you can get into an angle as you ride. That would, that would really help. I'm not sure, but I think so. Man, oh man. In Jesus' name. If I had the cap money, you know, and had a team that we could just talk and develop these ideas. Man, oh man. Be so neat. Mm. Yeah, not, not bad. Almost got it here. I'm almost there. Next time we're gonna bring more ties. I didn't have enough with me. They really are useful. I put one more. Ugh. I'm not sure. I think it's okay, but I just I don't know. Got an idea. It's back in. Yeah. Right here. Mm. Right there. Take this one down here. Oh. Got a bottle back here. I don't want it slipping out. I think we're good now. Yeah, that's real good. Okie dokie. Here we go. Gotta fix these glasses. I got a pair of glasses I gotta fix here. came apart if I wouldn't have uh, noticed they would have just uh, fallen apart <laughs> all right
Here we go. All right. Got to get out the glass cleaner. These sunglasses are filthy. Glad I brought some with me. Sure that I did. Just gotta look around for a minute. Whoosh. Ah. I'll put my um oh, what the hell. I'm gonna put the Oh god, my, this is nothing. I'm just fighting through some pain here. Pepper spray or bear spray, whatever the hell. I was thinking about this bear spray. I wonder what kind of chemicals are in it. You know? I don't know. Hmm. There it is. Got it now. I never, I never practiced with this canister of uh, bear spray, so I don't know how. You know, I get put in a situation. I've never practiced with it. Hmm. All right, here's a nice soaking wet cloth. It's a neck, neck towel. There it is, all right. Mm. Almost there. Oh God, here we go. Now, that's how it works, right here. There we go. Yeah. Alright, now we can clean the lenses. Oh, yeah, found it. Found the lens cleaner. Whew. There's a bumblebee that was checking me out. A bumblebee. All right. Here we go. I'm going to clean the lenses on my uh, camera, too. Ugh. Not sure where this is going to be. Not bad. It's all right. Not bad. <laughs> oh, you fucker. Oh, fuck. A lens fell out of my glass. Ah, oh, thank God I found it. Hallelujah. That would have sucked. Whew. Well, am I glad I found that? Fortunate. Very fortunate.
Mm. All right, here we go. Ooh. All right. So I got the sunglasses on and they look great. I'm gonna clean the lenses on the camera. Cameras. Just make sure to clean. It's good, okay, good. The battery is still holding up. We're good, I think we're, what percent are we at here? 13%, which is not too good. I might start on a new, the new camera uh, before we leave. I think I'll have to. All right, so got the sunglasses on. My other glasses I'm going to put in my bag, try to put them in a uh, uh, little bit of protective. I don't have a case with me. I don't want to ruin these. It should be okay. I think we're okay. All right, here we go. I think we're okay. All right. Fucking hurting. Okay, I'm gonna switch this out in a moment. I think we're ready to go. Here we go. Mm. Caffeine. Mm. Mm. About ready. About ready. Okay, that's it. Mm. Here we go. Mm. I'm gonna switch out the cameras. Got a camera on the back. It's another OG. Go on now. Here it is. Ah, gotta turn turn the battery out. Carefully. I'm gonna switch these cameras. The one on the back. I'm gonna put it on the front. Oh, I gotta unplug this sucker. I got a charging cable going into it from an auxiliary battery. It's in the middle of the helmet. There we go. There it is. All right, here we go. Hmm. Only got 15 percent. 
like left on this battery. The one for the back, you know. Now, this one in the back. Only 15. That's the baby. 15. Alright, so let's put the one in the front. Or one in the front of the back, on the front. Hmm. Here we go. And let's hit it. Boom. It's got a different uh, filter, a darker filter, which you know is okay because we're in a lighter time of the day, I guess. All right, so I'm gonna clean those lenses. Just one swipe, couple swipes. My back is really tight from standing the way I have been. Hoo wee! Good lord! Here we go. Clean that lens. Come over here, clean this lens. Looks good, both do. Yeah, look clean. I take this lens cover, since it's still clean, put it back in my bag. Oh, man. Here we go. Here we go. Mm. That's it. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. I think I could do better with the helmet here. I have to do what I've got to, let me tell you. What it is, what it is. All right, we're ready. Take another quick check. And not leaving anything here make sure everything's tight on there I don't want anything falling off right put the light on mm-hmm make sure backup I mean the digital rear view mirror is working it's working all right everything's looking good here we go I'll pull this out for a moment. Look around for, make sure we aren't leaving anything. All right. Tilt the bike over. <clears throat> Gosh, it sucks. Here we go. <clears throat> oh boy, that sucks. Oh. All right, here we are. Here we are. Woo! It doesn't feel too bad. Well, I didn't realize we were still on this damn hill. Man, I forgot that we were on a hill. Look at something. Huh. On the wrong damn sprocket. Bastard. Shit. There it goes. All right. It went in. Whew. Thank God. That'll be better. <clears throat> there we are. Discover one thing I have to make a make an adjustment with. 
trying to figure out how I'll do it. I'm not sure. I think I'll figure it out. I think we'll be okay. Whew. Yeah, good. I actually thought it was close to the top. I didn't know where we took a break. Uh, we'd be right on this hill. And it, it was this much of a hill. Yeah. Okay, what the hell? 